Hello, I'm Catherine Arnaud and I'm a business manager at Avery's, an NTT data company. As we know, the cultural and creative sectors play a, crit a critical role at EU level because they contribute to economic growth and job creation, but also to support uh, social cohesion. It is this, therefore super important that cultural statistics are regularly monitored following a robust and comparable framework and that provides reliable evidence to support policymaking, to identify trends and also to make these sectors thrive even further. Throughout the uh, last years, and especially uh, during the last year, these sectors have been undergoing an intense digital transformation, which is changing how cultural and creative goods and services are created, provided, distributed, accessed, uh, consumed, and also monetized. Therefore, it is important that cultural statistics also take into account this growing digital dimension. This is where Everest actually comes into the picture. We are a digital consultancy company and we work closely with European and international organizations to co-design uh, better public policies, to enhance uh, the delivery of public services and also to improve their organizational performance. So considering our um, experience and expertise in the digital arena, in this project we are particularly responsible for leading the creation of a new methodology for estimating and classifying online cultural and creative services. We are also assessing how technology can support us in measuring the cultural and creative sectors. Uh, besides the existing official statistics, we have been busy during the last months with identifying other sources that can potentially be used to better quantify and compare cultural statistics at EU level. Deciding which sources to use and how to put them together will be our next challenge. The outcome of this project will be something tangible as we are asked to update the existing statistical framework and also to include a methodology for estimating and classifying online cultural and creative services. Although this is a pilot project, we hope that we will be able to develop uh, something that can be of use to improve policymaking and also to generate data-driven products and services in the cultural and creative industries powered by European cultural statistics. They will know more um, about the organizations that are collecting data about cultural and creative sectors, what type of data they hold, and also they will have access to statistics that um, already take into account the digitalization of the cultural and creative sectors.